Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna run a speed test on the new TP-Link Deco BE65 Pro. This is a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system and I will do a full-on review in another video. Uh, but currently I wanna explain, uh, I wanna show you guys how fast wireless backhaul speeds are. Uh, so, and, and the way I'm demonstrate that is I'm gonna run a Wi-Fi test, which I'm currently running right now, and then I'm going to connect the Ethernet cord and run a test that way as well. So, to give you guys a um, framework, so my internet speeds are five gigabits per second upload and download. That's the fastest speeds it can get over the internet. Um, the fastest port on the B65 Pro is five gigabits per second, so that it would cap it at those speeds anyways. Um, but the crazy thing is that this is a wireless backhaul node, which means that I have another one of these uh, in the other room that's hooked up to the ONT, which is kind of like a modem. Uh, and then this one is wirelessly talking to the other one. So as you guys can see, um, this Ethernet cord is open. I have a power connected and that is it. Now I'm going to take this Ethernet cord. So this is wirelessly talking to the other one. And this is answering the question. Um, so I'm going to connect this to my Mac Mini M2. And my Mac Mini can support up to 10 gig speeds. Um, just it, it has that capability. Um, so, but basically a question I get asked is, uh, and let me disable Wi-Fi up here just to make sure we are connected just to the Ethernet. Uh, and let's go ahead and let's just close this and let's open up a new one and let's click go. Now the server changes um, sometimes or often enough, but um, so some servers get better speeds than others. But the, the concept is that this mesh system is wirelessly talking um, to the other node. Uh, to, which is acting as the router, and look at the speed difference. So even though this is wirelessly talking to the other one, because I have a physical Ethernet connection to it, it's actually getting some crazy fast speeds. So if I, let's say, actually, let me, let me see if I can connect to a different server, just to, uh, so let's run a different speed test, because the server matters. Um, sometimes it's slower, sometimes it's faster. Um, depending if the server is overloaded or not, because uh, these are public speed test servers. But I mean, look at these speeds. I'm practically getting, and I saw, I've seen above four already, but I'm practically getting four gigabits per second download on wireless. And this is the question like, uh, I get this question like, okay, should I get a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system or a Wi-Fi 7 router? you know, if I don't have any Wi-Fi 7 devices at the moment. And the, the, the question is, it depends because, I mean, you don't even need Wi-Fi 7 devices because you could literally, if this one wirelessly talks to the other one, which is around 25 feet away for this test with a couple walls in between, and I'm getting, look at these speeds. I mean, the upload is obviously not that fast, but the download is crazy fast. And this is an internet speed test. Now, on the local speed test, I typically get better. In fact, I ran this recently. I got four down uh, and 3.7 up. Let's see if we can get it. Um, let's see if we can get it there again. Um, so it depends. Sometimes my other computer kind of goes to sleep and then I have to run it once or twice to wake it up. Uh, <laughs> I get like two point, you know, I'm getting a lot slower speeds right now. Uh, so I feel like I need to go move the mouse over there on the other one or kick it off or something like that. Um, so I could get better speeds. So it looks like the first test actually woke it up and now I'm actually getting the much faster speeds. So the, the question I'm really just trying to answer uh, by demonstrating this, and I will do a full review where I do all the speed test, range tests, and I'll give you guys all those numbers in a separate one, so subscribe if you guys haven't already. Uh, but basically, I mean, look at these speeds. This is through a wireless backhaul node. I know I keep saying that, but this is like majestic. I mean, just think about it. This is crazy fast that that tiny little thing is wirelessly talking to the other one. And I call it tiny because it has like the bigger brothers. Uh, the BE85, the BE95 are much bigger. Uh, even the BE16000, it's much larger in size. So that one is actually pretty small in size. And um, I mean, look at these speeds. These speeds are insane uh, for something that is wirelessly talking to the other one. And this is the biggest advantage you get with Wi-Fi 7. Obviously, if you have Wi-Fi 7 devices, you can actually get really good speeds on the Wi-Fi 7 devices as well. Uh, but I mean, just look at that. 